So, although Sir, Sir Lewis actually emphasises the need for education, when she wrote in 1839, believing that education is necessary for the improvement of society, as the end of education and accomplishments would result in marriage from the intellectual education, was to enable them for the future of future duties of their wives as wives and mothers. They can also improve society by being caretakers and educators of the next generation, putting the emphasis largely on being a mother and the influence of the world through their husbands and their sons. Um, these principles were based on influences. The boys' principles were based on influences, as they did a lot through the mother's influence, and their principles would come through the mother's influence. We also believe that good education would enable the girl to deal with any trials or duties that she may encounter. As she states, into the cultivation of art, disguised under the happy name of accomplishment, does one particle of intellectual, intellectual or intellectuality think? Yes, I believe this. So if, if a girl had one to sell and play the piano, then surely she could learn more to help her achieve more, more in her mission in life. But Lewis also talks about refinement. So it would teach the shun of the of course, dignity and dignity to shrink it from displaying what before heart inspires and notion of the soul like which all artists fall back, asking the question how can we work, how can women without education be influential? Of many of those who sacrifice time for the education of accomplishment, few few gain moderate proficiency. However, the love of beauty and the power of amusement, self amusement may justify these sacrifices, as there is a deep influential deep influence hidden under the arts. Throughout the Victorian period, widely her perception of motherhood was as an intensely more intensely selfless and pure and pure. Teaching others would be an extension of self rather than seeing the work. The assertion that education should come should be directed towards good making good life and others was used to make a curriculum of subjects to include history, geography, literature and foreign languages. Um, this is very basic compared to the boys' learning. A wife was expected to be a companion to her husband. Um, as I said, the idea that a woman's mission is taken from a Christian point of view, which is emphasised in family fortunes, when Leonor Davidoff discusses the role of the minister's wife. Stating that a Maria Marshall's extensively prepared for wife organised in the household of five children, servants, and visitors under mother in law. Possibly combining the wife, the role of a wife, and an influence on society for her husband. A woman should be a companion to her husband, a teacher to her children, and pervasive more influence within the home, but only an educated woman could perform these duties adequately. Therefore, academic education is best preparation for marriage and motherhood. Wives, women's lives should be dedicated to serving the needs of their husbands and children. Believing, believers in domestic ideology were not always, not always advocates of vigorous intellectual training, but more concerned with the belief in influence. Jane Austen actually satirises the element of marriage through in persuasion through the character of Mary, who is seen by Anne as a woman who married for money, with little thought for anything else, which consequently turned her into a neglectful mother and a miserable wife. She allows Anne to look after little Charles when he is ill, and as she wishes to go with her husband. I'm not more alarmed about Charles than my husband is, believing that if her husband can go out, go out then there's no reason why Mary cannot go. She encourages Anne to stay with Charles, as Mary believes that Anne does not have any maternal instincts. But I believe this is debatable, as Anne has been educated to a good standing and has a good character, and it's obviously influential, as Mary points out, he does, not, he does mind everything you say, um, saying that she, I think this kid says that she is actually quite influential in, in the role of an aunt, and it's quite, quite good for um, Charles. As for Mary and White, um, in the persuasion it states that Mary has shown herself disobliging, not quite the companion that is meant to come out of the woman's mission, as she continually complained about he was dropping her arm to move her letters out of the way and not arms. Whilst the idea of the mission is to be the dutiful wife and mother, a lack of education or wars shows that it doesn't always work out like that. Um, 
women were more compass within the Kwame in the 19th century. Keeping the Kwame together and bringing love and patience to her role and influence her children with her moral attributes, there was a large emphasis on the maternal influence in boys, as boys tended to go to boarding school, and they would be self they would be taught to be selfish at school and come home and be selfish towards their sisters without this maternal influence. They could have grown up into selfish husbands and fathers. In the 19th century, it was extremely important that boys were influenced by their mothers for as long as possible, so they grew up in this way. Maternal influence comes with many variations in persuasion. As Austin shows, through her character, different maternal figures and highlighting their tendencies. One of them is Lady Russell, who, although is not the girl's mother, she does have a maternal tendency towards them. Similar to that of her own mother, as one can imagine the same with Chris Flames. Jim Austin described Lady Russell as, sen as a sensible to serving woman who Lady Elliot came to rely on for the best health and maintenance of good principles and instructions, which Lady Elliot had been applying to her daughters herself before her death. Lady Russell was influential in Anne's choice of husband in persuading Anne to pull off the engagement to Captain Wentworth in the first time. Even if Anne did later regret that decision, women's nerve unconscious are the essence of women's beneficial influence. It is their patience and care that people see and are influenced through. Um, in, a, in the book written in 1814, it says, oh, oh, why are mothers in such haste to delegate to others a delightful task which Providence has assigned to them in hope to lessen responsibility? As Amy, Amy Martin says this would be faint hope because they are guardians of angels of one frequency charged with a mission committed to implanting Christian morals. Many believers of domestic ideology will be, I've already said, be confused, concerned with influence rather than intellectual training. Um, in conclusion to this, I do believe that it was. Now, the idea of women's mission was perfect. To be educated to a standard, to allow her to understand her role as a mother and wife, and to be a good role model in everything else she does. Although, as, it, as the century went on, I do believe that the reality was much different, as many women used the, her, the, their gifts that they had to make um, jobs for themselves and to possibly work outside the home. Um, Yeah, so, so although the, the idea of women's mission was good, I do believe it, it changed slightly as the, the century went on. Thank you very much, Catherine. That, that's great. Um, can you say a bit more about how it changed, do you think? Mm -hmm. um, there was uh, an idea that, um, that as women could we actually learn how to play the piano and to, um, to do needle work and to sort of be able to like learn academic stuff. It was there was a, a reason why um, you know women could go out to work and do all the things they wanted to. Um, this changed because obviously like people needed the money, I think, and um, and women became and the more learned they became, the more they wanted. And I think if they were already already know what they already knew, I think they, they came to realise that they could do quite a bit more and that the whole idea of the industrial revolution actually encouraged them to sort of to go out and to realise their potential maybe or the fact that they needed money for it. Okay, so you think it changed because it, because the process of doing it actually changed? Yeah, I think I think a lot there's a lot of influence from the outside as well that actually said that, you know, if, if you can play the piano then you can put your mind to other things as well. And when we started to believe that I think um, that's kind of created okay, so a bit more yeah. confidence within the women's despair. Become a virtuous circle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I think that's lovely. Okay. Right.